A man almost lost his life trying to save a little girl from a burning car. But 15 years later, after searching for her savior, the girl meets a homeless man with a scar that makes her heart stop. It was a gray, cold evening in the city, and the heavy clouds foreshadowed a storm. Amidst the tumult of the busy streets, a little girl of just eight years old was running desperately, her sobs muffled by the noise around her. Her little eyes, filled with tears, reflected a deep fear and fierce determination. The girl, Lily, was running away from the orphanage where she lived, a place she considered more of a prison than a home. I can't go back, she thought, remembering the dark and lonely days she spent under the severe gaze of those in charge of the place. The little girl ran through the narrow streets, always looking back, fearing that the orphanage staff were on her tail. It was the second time she tried to escape. On the first attempt, they managed to capture her and take her back, where she suffered serious consequences for her audacity. You're going to rot here, girl. They shouted angrily. Tears streamed down the little girl's dirty face as she ran, her tiny feet pounding against the ground. She was tired, hungry, and afraid, but the desire to find a safe place where she could be free. Then, in a narrow, dimly lit alleyway, Lily spotted an old car with faded paint and withered tires. It looked abandoned, but it was a perfect place to hide. The back door was ajar, as if someone had rushed out and forgotten to close it. With her heart beating fast, the little girl approached the car and peeked inside. There was no one there. She got in quickly and closed the door, shrinking into the gap between the seats, trying to make herself as small as possible. The smell of mold and old leather filled the air, but for Lily, that car was a temporary sanctuary. Outside, the city continued its frenetic routine, oblivious to the drama of the little girl hiding in the car. She closed her eyes, trying to control her breathing and calm her pounding heart. In her mind, she reviewed her plans for what she would do next, where she could go, and how she would survive. As time passed, Lily began to feel a little safer, believing that she had lost her pursuers. The silence of the car offered a welcome contrast to the chaos of the orphanage. She thought of all the stories she had read, stories of orphaned children who found loving families and started new, happy lives. Why didn't it ever happen for me? She whispered to herself. But what Lily didn't know was that that abandoned car in the alley would be the stage for an event that would change her life forever. She was about to meet her destiny in a way she could never have imagined. Night came when a sudden noise roused her from her thoughts. Footsteps were approaching, and she shrank even more, covering herself with an old coat she found in the back seat. Her heart was beating fast, and she prepared to run if necessary. But what happened next marked her life forever, for fate had darker plans for her. Without her knowing it, that alley was known for being a refuge for homeless people, and that night, a group of malicious criminals decided to make the place the scene of their cruelties. The men arrived laughing and talking loudly, carrying a flammable liquid. They started pouring the liquid over the car, unaware of the girl hiding inside. Now that filthy beggar will see? One of them sneered, referring to the homeless man who used to take shelter in that car. As the men prepared to set the fire, Lily realized the imminent danger. She started banging on the dirty, dusty windows, screaming for help. Her desperate cries, however, were drowned out by the noise of the men who laughed and gloated at their cruel actions. One of them even noticed her, but as he thought it was a homeless child who was, he was more than ready to finish what they had started. One of the criminals lit a match and threw it at the car. The flames quickly took hold of the vehicle, and within a few minutes, the fire began to burn the front seats. There was a gap that caused the flames to enter the car. Lily coughed through the smoke, and her little hands kept frantically tapping on the glass as the flames came closer and closer. Panic took hold of her. She could feel the heat of the fire and tears mixed with the soot on her face. Help! Please, someone help me! She screamed, but the men had already gone, leaving her at the mercy of the voracious flames. Just when the girl thought that her end was near, she saw a figure approaching the car. It was a shabby man with torn clothes and a face marked by time. He ran towards the vehicle, shouting something incomprehensible, as the noise of the flames inside was unbearable. 
The homeless man, sensing the child's presence, quickened his steps, ready to perform an act of bravery that would change the course of their lives forever. The little girl looked at the homeless man through the window, her little eyes pleading for help. Help me! She said, weak, her head spinning. The flames quickly consumed the car, which soon attracted a crowd of curious and worried people to the alley. The shabby man usually sought shelter in that area. He was returning to his corner when he saw the fire. He struggled desperately to open the car door, which was now warped by the intense heat. Calm down, little girl. I'm going to get you out of there. He shouted, trying to calm the terrified little girl trapped inside the vehicle. Lily was beginning to choke on the smoke and was losing consciousness. The people around started shouting for the man to get away from the car, fearing an explosion at any moment. Get out of there, you lunatic! This car is a ticking bomb! It's going to explode on you! But even so, despite the imminent danger, the homeless man persisted in his mission. A small blanket wrapped around his shoulders began to catch fire. He quickly got rid of it and, with one last heroic effort, managed to open the car door. Just as he was pulling Lily out of the vehicle and preparing to run away, the car exploded, throwing them both into the air. The man fell to the ground, shielding the girl with his body. He was badly hurt, his arm bled deeply, but the little girl was safe. When Lily finally regained consciousness, it was all over. She found herself surrounded by the orphanage staff who, knowing about the explosion, went to check the scene and found her. No, no, let me go. I don't want to go back. She wailed and cried in terror. The poor thing hadn't even processed everything that had happened and was already being dragged back to the place she had desperately tried to escape. The last thing she saw before being taken back to that hell she called home was the homeless man being attended to by the emergency team. His arm was covered in blood and he looked weak and injured, but his eyes met hers for a brief moment, conveying a silent message of compassion. Lily screamed, begging not to be taken back to the orphanage. I want to go with him! Let me go! But her pleas were ignored. The men held her tightly, dragging her into the car that would take them away to the place she feared so much. You were lucky, girl. You could have died. They scolded her, without any trace of compassion or genuine concern for the terrifying situation the little girl had just experienced. As she was taken to the orphanage, the face of the homeless man and his heroic act remained vivid in the little girl's mind. She owed her life to that stranger, whose courage and selflessness had shone through even in the darkest of circumstances. Fifteen long years passed since the night Lily, a terrified little girl, was rescued from a burning car by an unknown homeless man. That traumatic experience had remained etched in her memory, a constant reminder of her own vulnerability and an unexpected kindness. After that runaway incident, the girl was adopted by a family who, at first, seemed to be everything she had ever wanted. However, not even two months later, they turned out to be neglectful and abusive. Lily had to endure hell throughout her childhood and adolescence until she decided to run away at the age of 16. The girl started working as a waitress, an occupation that, although modest, offered her an opportunity to learn and grow. Intelligent and determined as she was, she absorbed all the knowledge she could from the art of cooking to business management. Lily never forgot the man who saved her that fight full night. Whenever she could, she returned to the alley hoping to find him and thank him but he was never there. The mystery of his identity and fate remained unsolved, an unanswered question in her life. At the age of 20, with the savings she had gathered from her hard work, she rented a small place and opened her own restaurant. It was a humble and modest place at first, but its delicious food and cozy atmosphere quickly won over a loyal clientele. The small restaurant flourished, and it wasn't long before it became a franchise, famous for their quality and warm atmosphere. Lily, now a successful young businesswoman, was proud of the empire she had built from zero. By the age of 23, she already owned three profitable businesses. Despite her wealth and success, she never forgot her humble origins and the difficulties she faced. Remembering her own struggles and the kindness of the man who saved her, she decided to give something back to the community. Every weekend, one of her restaurants opened its doors to the homeless offering them a free meal. It was a success. 
Seeing those people in need enjoying her food was something that warmed the girl's heart. This attitude of generosity quickly became known throughout the city, and many homeless people visited her restaurant on Sundays to enjoy a moment of comfort and care. Lily often joined them, sharing stories and listening to each other's life experiences. It was a small gesture, but it meant a lot to those who had so little. But then, on a Sunday like any other, as they gathered for their weekly meal, a particular man entered the restaurant. He was an older man, with a long, unkempt beard and worn-out clothes that told the story of a difficult life on the streets. When Lily saw him, her heart stopped for an instant. There was something about him that triggered a distant memory, a feeling of recognition that she couldn't explain. Her eyes widened, and a wave of emotion washed over her. It can't be, she thought but something inside her told her that that man was the key to a mystery she had been trying to solve for almost her entire life. The man sat down shyly at a table in the corner, unaware of the restaurant owner's eyes fixed on him. She approached, her heart beating fast. Each step brought her closer to the truth she had sought for so many years. Lily, now a successful businesswoman, was going to this man without knowing if her intuition was right or not. Something about him seemed strangely familiar, which is why she wanted to meet him in person. What will you have, sir? She said, handing him the menu. When the man reached out to take the menu, the young woman noticed a long, old scar running down his arm. It was a deep burn mark. Her heart raced and tears began to form. The man made his order, and she prepared his meal herself, watching him discreetly. The gentleman was very grateful, with a shy smile revealing genuine character in his tired eyes. I haven't eaten in days, my dear. Thank you so much, he said, his words full of relief and hunger. The girl sat down at the table with him, driven by a need to know more. Can I ask you what happened to you? What happened to your arm? She asked, her voice soft but almost trembling with anxiety. The man began to tell his story. Oh, that? It was about 15 years ago, I think, he said. A car I used to sleep in was set on fire by criminals. They always disturbed me, and I had to be on my guard. But that day, they set fire to the car without knowing there was a little girl inside. When I arrived, I did everything I could to save her. But then the car exploded before I could get away. The woman was stunned. That's him! It's really him! Her mind was racing. He continued. I don't know what happened to her, but some men took her away. He concluded his distant gaze reflecting the pain of that memory. Tears began to fill Lily's eyes and she couldn't help herself. It's me, sir. I was that little girl. You saved me. The young woman revealed, the emotion in her voice cutting through the silence of the restaurant. The man stopped eating, looking at Lily with an expression of surprise and disbelief. He couldn't believe that the woman in front of him was the same child he had rescued so many years ago. They talked for hours, sharing their stories and life experiences. Lily asked why he was never in the alley, as she had been there a million times. And he explained that he was constantly moving from place to place, running away from the criminals who were chasing him. They found me a week ago and gave me a beating, but I managed to escape, he said, revealing the bruises on his face and arms. The girl was deeply moved by having found her savior again, and couldn't bear the thought of letting him continue to live on the streets. So she said the words that touched that poor man's heart in an unimaginable way. Well, now you have a house, said Lily, her voice filled with emotion. I'd like to repay you for saving my life. I'd like you to come and live in my house. The restaurant owner's words deeply touched the man who began to cry, moved by the kindness and generosity of what years ago was just a little girl in danger. He looked at Lily, his eyes reflecting a mixture of gratitude and surprise. Never in his lonelier years on the streets could the poor man have thought of such a warm ending to his story. Lily reached out and took his hand, a gesture of comfort and friendship. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. You saved me, and now it's my turn to take care of you, she said with determination. The man, still in tears, was unable to fully express his gratitude. He had spent so many years facing the indifference and cruelty of the world that her kindness seemed like a miracle. At that moment, in the small restaurant, surrounded by customers who had witnessed the emotional reunion, Lily and the homeless man, now part of her family, 
began a new chapter in their lives. A story of tragedy and despair that had turned into one of hope and new beginnings. The girl's decision to welcome the man who saved her into her own home was just the beginning of a beautiful relationship that quickly turned into a father-daughter bond. For Lily, who grew up in a troubled orphanage and ran away from an abusive family, that man represented the father figure she never had. The man, too, found in her the family he had long lost. He, who spent years on the streets, facing the cruelty of people, has now found the love of a daughter, security, and a purpose in life to be a father to her. Together, the two shared stories, dreams, and laughter, filling the emptiness that each of them carried in their hearts. The young woman kept changing his life. Recognizing his potential, she taught him all about her passion for cooking. She decided to invest in his education, so she paid for a chef's course for him, and the man, with dedication and natural talent, quickly became a skilled cook. His love of food and his desire to learn turned him into a renowned chef, admired by clients and colleagues alike. Lily's restaurant, which was already popular for the quality of its food, gained even more fame with the heartwarming story of the owner and her new chef, father. The story of the unlikely family spread, attracting even more customers, curious to meet the duo who had overcome so many challenges together. The man, now a former homeless man with dignity, a job and a home, felt reborn. He saw in Lily not just the little girl he had saved, but a beloved daughter, someone he was deeply proud of. The girl, in turn, saw in him the father she had always longed for, someone who had shown her the true meaning of courage and unconditional love by risking his own life to save her from a burning car. Their restaurant became more than a place to enjoy delicious food. It was a symbol of hope and resilience, a place where stories of overcoming and love were celebrated every day. Those two previously lost souls proved that, even in the most adverse circumstances, it is possible to find happiness and a new beginning. And if you like this story, I'm sure the next video that pops up on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next heartwarming story.